Hello folks, welcome to the first behind the scenes video here on My Virgin Kitchen. Uh, it's the start of a new week. It's Monday morning, a little bit later than usual. Uh, Mrs. Barry and the kids have gone to school and work respectively. It's just me here with the pugs, uh, just chilling out. Uh, this is uh, basically uh, gonna be a behind the scenes of the week. I'm gonna put on the channel, maybe not every single week, but I'm gonna do my best. Uh, just to give you a little insights into what kind of goes on uh, outside of the kitchen uh, and beyond. Uh, so we had another channel called The Barry's where we put this up like every week in like an hour long. Uh, so we might try and make it a teeny bit smaller just to give it like short and punchy. This is what we're doing. Here's the kids, here's the pugs, uh, things. There's lots of uh, things going on in our lives at the moment. Uh, I'm in fact, me personally, I'm trying to get back into doing videos again after having a little break from Christmas and New Year that I was completely honest about and um, you know, coming back home and filming. Uh, but this is our current home. One other bit of news straight off the bat is that we are looking very likely to be moving house. Uh, so this could pretty much document some of that. So anyhow, uh, today's video, I'm doing gadget of the week this week, this year, uh, and every week I'm gonna be reviewing a gadget. So uh, on my other main camera, I'm gonna crack on and film this, but you'll probably have already seen this by the time you see this. And the pugs are just chilling out, right? Yes. Yes, yes you are. All right, let's do it. All right, so I've come to the shops. <laughs> just about to go in the supermarket. And uh, I don't know why I'm not with it this morning. I've decided to randomly bring the gadget with me in the car for no reason whatsoever. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to pick some up in here. Uh, if not, it might turn into a massive Brussels sprout hunt all morning. Uh, because Brussels sprouts tend to be most popular in season at Christmas and New Year time around the UK. They're basically like little cabbages uh, that make you pop off a lot. Got my sprouts, folks. We've got sprouts there. Boom. All right, so we have got the Brussels sprouts. Amazing. Uh, and also with this gadget, we've got a video. Woohoo. Uh, and there's my wallet and a receipt and some de-icer. I need to hoover my car. All right, so I'm back home. I drove past the house that we are actually buying, by the way, it's around the corner. I'm not gonna show you it yet because it could fall through. Um, one thing I didn't tell you, there's some building work going on next door. So if you hear any drilling sounds uh, through any of the videos, that's basically noise at the moment. And uh, Mrs. Barry has kindly left the dishwasher on. So if I start my video right now, you'll hear it in the background. Nice. I'll also come back and notice that these guys have been uh, exploring. Amy ate six mince pies over Christmas. She got into a cupboard, didn't you? Yeah. Anyhow, let's do this video. Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. <clears throat> Hopefully you've watched that video. Which is on this camera right here. This scene's gonna look really weird on the vlog, but now you guys get preference, all right? It's going well so far. I don't think many people are gonna watch this uh, Sprout video because uh, I don't think many people will know what they are, but uh, I'm enjoying it and that's the main thing. I'm enjoying the video making process again. All right, folks, I uh, really enjoyed doing that video. Kind of got my mojo back. Uh, kind of tweeted that, I was like, yeah. I actually really enjoyed making videos, which is really, really important. And I've only just realized that. I just kind of was going through the motions before. You've got to enjoy what you do, otherwise why the hell are you doing it? Uh, this is our other living room, which you guys probably don't always know about. The Barry shelf, huh? From the barn, the Barry shelf has returned for now. Um, so what I used to do was go upstairs and edit my videos when I had my desk in the loft. What we found is because it's cold this time of year, it's really cold up there and I can't, it's freezing. I'll get really, really ill if I edit there. So we brought my desk downstairs for the time being. So I'm gonna edit my video right now. That's the reason why we're probably moving house, okay? So we have enough rooms for the kids. I had an office in the loft, but it was unhealthy. So we're looking for a bigger house. We found a bigger house. So not only can I have my own room to have a desk to edit, I've got another room that I can turn into a whole studio. Plus there's a massive garden, a massive garage. It's big, it's cool, the kitchen is awesome. And I'm excited. So uh, yeah, back to reality, edit. I've got to edit. But in other news, there's a giant unicorn balloon there from uh, Chloe's birthday yesterday. Uh, it scares the heck out of the dogs because there's a big eyeball looking at them in the sky. They're like, oh my God. So it's pretty bodged at the moment. I've got like all my podcast stuff all sat behind me, but look at these little munchkins, huh? They're growing up so quick, huh? They'll be back later. Right, I just read online that it's okay to give a dog a sprout, okay? Although your tummy, you're gonna be popping off loads. Ah. 
I might regret that later when they're walking them. Oh my gosh. No popping off, right? Huh? You guys are like my best mates now. <laughs> Go away. I'll tell you what, Amy. <laughs> it's a good job I got that filming done. We just started like digging outside our house. Mrs. Barry's here. Hello, Mrs. Barry. Hello. You alright? Yeah, fine. You okay? Yeah, Mrs. Barry had a half day at work. I have, and now I'm making tea. So I was on the phone, I come in, and she's just like straight in the kitchen, yeah. cooking up a storm using one of our favourite gadgets. The old multi-chopper thing, so. How have you been, alright? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah? Oh! <laughs> yeah. How was work? Oh, it was fine. Nice short day. Nice easy Monday. Yeah, all good. Oh, there's some noise going on outside. There's some people digging up the road. Brist, um, water. Oh. I thought I just dropped the whole bag of timers. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, while my video is finishing uploading, <laughs> these, all right, these are ribbed gloves. You see those ridges? Uh, that is because they are for <laughs> Mrs. Harry. <laughs> I thought you were pointing at me. No. You like that? No. Phoebe's back from school. Boom. Hello. Hello. How Hello. was school? Good. Good? Yeah. Good. You're fine. Ah. Strong. And the birthday girl who is now six. Hello. You're five. You're on YouTube Kids, are you? Nice. As the giant unicorn balloon casts its eye on Amy the pug. She's keeping an eye on you, huh? All right, all right, Phoebes? Yeah. It's night time now. Yeah. Where are we taking you? Brownies. Brownies. Phoebe's got Boston. I've got Amy. And that's it, right? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Ah! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Alright dogs, it's uh, it's actually quite late, it's 5 to 7 in the morning, no 5 past 7 in the morning. Look, I went out and got some stuff today for a project and we just shoved it there. This is how it does normally look sometimes, we're not going to hide it from us. When we're doing videos, tidy it down, stick it over there and then just make it look relatively tidier. But, to be honest, most of this will be gone. But I'm going to try today and make uh, a, a large one of these. Morning girls. Alright. I'm in a closet. Mrs. Barry, the same. Alright. There's a glittery one. Alright, uh, so I'm out with the dogs. This is my normal dog walking in attire for like the entire winter, big woolly hat coat. It's actually not raining for a change. Uh, dogs are around here somewhere. It's very, very quiet. It always is this time of morning. Apart from the random bird, if you heard that. You know, I haven't quite thought out how long I'm gonna make these. Uh, on the batteries, these videos used to be like an hour long, and I'm purposely trying to keep them a little bit shorter. Um, but there is a time, if we do actually end up moving house, uh, that this could actually be the only video going up in a week just to document the whole house move thing. But that won't happen for a few weeks anyway. And, uh, wow, look at that. It's been raining heavily here. <laughs> Wanna go for a swim? All right, so here's the deal. Uh, Mrs. Barry and the kids are gone at work and school. Uh, I have someone coming to survey the house at half past nine, so I need to start making my giant tafifi now. All right, Amy, how's the water? So far, so good, folks. Uh, although this is very, very dangerous indeed. Uh, I just got this feeling this surveyor's gonna walk in and go, oh, hello, um, I'm here to measure your house. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just making a giant tafifi. It's, it's fine, it's, it's what I do. Uh, there's been a bit of a bad times, uh, look. <laughs> it got a little crazy, the sugar is hot. Uh, I've managed to burn my work top. Mrs. Barry will be very happy later, uh, but it was just quite not the right colour. Um, so, I'm going to do it again, uh, but rather than doing so big, I'm going to downscale it and use a smaller bowl. But it's still going to be big. The surveyor's here, he's gone outside. I'm a bit annoyed because I had to stop the sugar boiling. So uh, I think that could be uh, knocking this video on the head. I might have to start again. I suppose I've got the rest of the day to try though, but the lighting won't be very good. He's using the tape. 
using the tape across our back garden. Between you and me, uh, Mrs. Barry is gonna kick my butt when I get home. Uh, I have made a hell of a mess. I've ruined like four saucepans, but it's all in the name of video making and my job. She'll understand. Hello. Hello. Um, don't freak out. What, why? Um, it's a mess everywhere. Okay. Um, I'll help you tidy up. Well, I'll do all the tidying up. Right. That went okay. She's like, you're filming this, aren't you? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just literally praying on this batch here, though. <laughs> Mrs. Barry's home. The good news is I've just done it. Hello. Hello. All right. Yes. Are you? You okay? I'm fine. I'm not even going to look in the kitchen. I'm just going to close my eyes. <laughs> and I'm going to magically disappear. Thank you. Sorry. What have you done? Nothing. I've done. I mean, this. Do you know what? I'm just so glad it's you that's burnt the work top and not me. Yeah. Oh no, those are empty because we ate them last night. I think this is the least I deserve. Yeah, okay, you can have all of those, <laughs> but I get this one. Folks, after four batches of caramel, I found one that was happy with the chocolate nougat. That's a crazy story that I'll tell you about another day maybe. But the bottom line is it's done apart from a dark chocolate puddle to go on top, which I'll do later. And then I'll reveal it in the morning, I think. It's been a bit of a bonkers day, right? <laughs> So there is a uh, giant tafifi in my fridge. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to slice it open actually because I was going to give it to my stepdad. He loves them. I'm about to have a Skype call now um, about a very top secret little project that I really, really want to do. Uh, one of the goals, look, so I washed it in the background. Nice. Uh, one of our goals uh, this year that I have uh, really want to achieve and something I've always interested in ever since I've been doing the gadgets t testing and stuff. I feel like I've got a really good sense of what is and isn't a bad and good utensil sort of thing. So. Um, my aim is to sort of try and make some sort of kit and I was mulling over doing a separate playlist on here from time to time calling it my, my gadget journey or something like that where uh, I sort of show you guys the journey of me like having this crazy idea and then maybe like kickstart or indiegogo to get some momentum behind it and who knows one day actually having it on amazon or on a shelf um, I'm having a skype call about that right now just to see if I can find out the basics of it with uh, a good contact I've got so um, let me know what you think on that it's um, a little project I'm working on behind the scenes so um, could be quite fun I know what you've done <laughs> hello Chloe is there something touch stuck to you <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Morning, Chloe. Are you alright? What's going on, mate? How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I just eat a healthy breakfast. You just had a healthy breakfast? Nice one. She's on toast. Alright. So I have a secret handshake. Dogs have just been fed. Oh, there's a giant tafifi in our fridge. Can you give me a sneak preview? Is it looking okay? Uh, yes. Good. Looking good. It's still on the shelf. Yeah, it's about like 10 kilos of like toffee in that. Yeah. Nice. Good. Okay. Right, boy. I've just taken out the fridge and uh, that is looking awesome. I'm loving that. Uh, hopefully by having the cling film on, it will come out quite easy. But this is rock hard, so it will stand up on its own. I was worried about that. It's quite flimsy at first, but now the caramel is properly set. This bowl is really cold, so I'll, I'll reveal that later. Yeah, morning hair. Are we? Yeah. Uh, what's your book? What's this? Uh, the Butterfly Club by um, Jacqueline Wilson. Nice. Phoebe loves a good book, don't you? Yeah. Definitely, definitely takes after Mrs. Barry from that point of view. I did read some uh, books over the new year though, bizarrely, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a book, big book fan. I wait for the movie to come out and then never watch it. So windy morning, folks. Uh, I've got a muffler thing on this camera, so hopefully it won't show how windy it is. But that is my old school. Right there. 
That's my old stomping ground. Yeah, it's like really windy, so you might not be able to hear me at all. I'm glad that I'm working indoors. <laughs> oh my God, folks. Can you see this rain? It is absolutely hammering down now. <laughs> I spoke too soon, need to get home. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I got absolutely drenched. Time to freshen up. All right, so. Uh, shower all done, feeling much better. I didn't capture it that well, but we got absolutely drenched. Uh, these guys kind of like not sure what to do about life now. Uh, gonna open the Tafifi, gonna film it, capture it all, probably show you a little bit of that. Then gonna edit the video, and then because of this thing, I'm probably gonna go buy myself a sander and then oil down my worktops because you have to oil uh, these oak worktops every six months anyway. But uh, if I sand it, it might sort of take a little bit of that off of it. <laughs> it looks quite rustic though, I quite like it. All right, uh, I've taken out the fridge and it's stuck in the bowl. Yeah. It fell out, didn't it? And then I sliced it in half. Boom. I just had a little nibble uh, before I'm giving it away and it tasted really, really nice. So uh, that's basically it. I'm gonna go edit that video right now because I'm excited to get it up, get it online and all that stuff. Uh, and then we're gonna do some sanding. Uh, I also needed to go get my driving license done today. Um, and I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to get one of those photo booth things and take you in with it. But apparently, uh, the driver's license in the UK, they can uh, take your passport photo now, which is quite clever. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna show you my whole driver's license because uh, it has my signature on it, but look. Can you see? <laughs> that was Surfer Barry back in the day. The edit's going well, I'm nearly, nearly done. Um, I might have to oil the work tops tomorrow, we'll see how we go. And Mrs Barry, just on the phone to her, she's just like, uh, you paid for someone because these guys knocked on the door. I can't remember if I said it. It's about cleaning the gutters. And I'm just sometimes too much of a nice guy. He's like, yeah, yeah, clean the gutters if you want. And like Becky was said to me, like Mrs. Barry, why have you just paid fifty quid for someone to clean the gutters on our house? Like they're brand new because of the house stuff that we've had done. Like, mm. and for reference, there's me uh, passport photo, folks. Oh, my mate James is ringing me. All right, I need to get out of the house. Um, I've pretty much finished that edit, a few little bits of top and tailing, so I'm gonna go and buy a sander. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, because it's starting to get the time where Mrs. Barry's gonna come home with the kids, and they probably don't want me, because I need it all cleared to do that. Um, just had a call from my accountant as well, uh, saying, oh, did you know that your mortgage might not actually go through? I'm like, what? He's like, oh no, not your end. Uh, I've just heard from the estate agents. Uh, so nothing to worry, just keep keep that in mind. Like, oh great. So might not move house after all. <laughs> I don't know. Banter. Got a parcel to pick up. No idea what it is. Too large for my letterbox. Well, I just made myself look like a right lemon. I'm sitting in the queue and I'm uh, get to the till and I go, oh, I'm here to collect my parcel. And it's actually um, from the main post office, which is four miles from my house. Uh, and to be honest, I can't be bothered to go there right now. I'm gonna go home and finish off my video. Tomorrow I have to go meet my web designers and then there's gonna be a much uh, day where you know, I've gotta go see my accountant now. I can pick up the sander thing, I can pick up the parcel, so yeah. Basically I'm a lemon, but I just needed some fresh air. It was quite an intense edit. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So I went to the post office, as you guys know, queued up with the wrong card. But I wasn't completely wrong, was I? Because there was another card. Yeah, you just took the wrong card to the wrong post office. I am 100% with it. You to read the card. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've actually got a PO box though. Now I've just set it up. We've got a PO box where um, it will arrive to our house. It won't it, give away our proper it's address. It's a it... box 8181. No, it's a 8181. Like yeah, that's from a TV show, yeah. Live and kicking. It was. That was a very good show. Um, <laughs> but it's like MVK, PO Box, uh, England, and that's it, it's awesome. So I'm gonna put that soon so you guys can send us random stuff. Like Mrs. Barry, some spoons? 
Remember you, Mrs. Barry snapped a wooden spoon recently and I it's not the right. first time. I snapped a wooden spoon. I burnt the handle of a wooden spoon and I've dyed the other one yellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There's a, literally a yellow <laughs> There's a wooden spoon and it's like stained yellow. What's it from? Is it from curry or something? Oh, no. Um, I don't know. I can't even think what it's from. Did that no. and then the handle of one I... I don't know how, I must have left it on the edge of the pan and it caught, the flame caught it and it was like black. Yeah. It didn't smell very nice, but you can still use it. It still works. Don't justify it, it's fine. <laughs> no, no. I think people will make their own opinion. <laughs> you can tell the kids are home. Mommy. What's attached to me? The balloon. He's <laughs> <laughs> attached it to me. Huh? <laughs> no. All right, uh, we need to talk about uh, my, my stepdad having the giant food. Loads of people are saying, I want to see you giving it to him. I've sent him a message, sent him pictures, and he doesn't actually now want it. But it's okay, because Mrs. Barry's got rid of half of it. Let me show you how. Can you, uh, just, uh, can you explain where some of the tafifi's gone? In your tummy. Well, uh, yeah, some of it. Um, I gave a bit to my parents. <laughs> my mum's taking some of it to her Weight Watcher group. <laughs> friends. <laughs> <laughs> Becky's mum is part of a Weight Watchers group, okay, a class to help you lose weight. And they, they meet up, um, they've started their own little, yeah, independent Weight Watchers, I guess, unofficial. And she's like, oh, I'll take some of it <laughs> on my Weight Watchers <laughs> group. <laughs> she did, to be fair, she was, I gave her a big chunk and she was slicing small pieces off. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good morning, Chloe. <laughs> the breakfast Hello, of champions. Hello, Hello how? Hello, how are oh. you? It's good to see you. Hello. <laughs> right, Phoebe. Yeah. Phoebe in the zone. Oopsie. Um, a lot of people are asking me on the video. Are you happy about the uh, singed worktop? I'm going to sort that today. What's a singed work? I burnt it. Burnt it. That's uh, what I've got to do today. Well, I know you're not over the moon about it. Not really. Being happy's not gonna change it. No. It's a good moral to have in life. Yes, today is a bit non youtube -y actually. I'm uh, going down about my website for about an hour drive. Got to do lots of prep for tomorrow. Secret long, long trip tomorrow. You're gonna be excited about that. And uh, post office, accountant, buy a sander, and then sand and try and get rid of that stain on the worktop. Now that's why that's called Lucky Friday. It's Thursday. No, tomorrow's Lucky Friday. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. So are you going out tomorrow? Maybe. That means it's a lucky day. Alright. Yeah. What's Phoebe got there? She's got an app. An app. What's the app do, Phoebs? It if you um, put it up to the sky, it shows you like what constellations or planets or like comets or different things in space you're looking at. Oh right, so it's 360? Oh uh, yeah, and if you point it down, you can Ugh. see what's on the other side of the Earth. Loads and loads of satellites. What's it called? Google... Uh, Go Google something? Yeah. Google but, Sky? This one's called Night Sky. N Night Sky? Yeah. Right then, folks, uh, we are running a little bit late. Kids have gone to school. I've got my uh, other post off card to pick up. So we've got two things to pick up. Uh, one thing to take back, like a router thing, to the post office. But well, web designers first. And I might get a sand the worktop later. See you later, pugs. All right, I made it. I'm running 10 minutes late. The sun's been in my eyes the whole way. Well, let's go. Oh my god, my brain is absolutely frazzled, folks. Um, two hour meeting. Uh, <laughs> my website, I need to change so many bits on it. Like the code for my old YouTube video to go on the new website. It'll be worth it, I think. That was intense. Now I'm off to see the accountant about the mortgage thing. Yee! <laughs> So I was just with the accountant and his lovely dog. Uh, I'm now by the post office to get some parcels. Uh, accountant was like, yeah, um, it's not really your fault what's going on, uh, but if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And you can't see my face, it's quite dark. Kind of done with today. 
I'm tired. Parcel collected. Now, let's get a sander. So we can try and sort that worktop out. <laughs> All right, gosh, oh no, another post office thing, ah. Oh. All right, dogs? All right. So I have got a crazy uh, rest of the day. I've got to put the Barshans video up, I've got to do a Skype call, I've got to sand this thing down as a priority before the kids get back, ideally. Uh, I need to prep for tomorrow, massive drive ahead, print it off, set up a printer, do some scanning for the bank account and accountant, so I'm gonna do that right now. Right, I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. I've got three different grades of sandpaper and I'm going to start with the finest first and we'll see how we go. All right, so there's this little bit that Phoebe did a while back with a sticker and this bad boy. It's probably going to get a bit paler, but we'll see what happens. There we go. It's sort of doing it. Sort of. We're going to need to oil it all down. Definitely taking some of the shine off it, 100%. I'm gonna go a little bit better, a little bit grittier. Uh, Phoebe's sticker thing's completely gone, uh, and you can just still see some of the marks, but I don't wanna go completely harsh with the sandpaper, otherwise I could destroy the whole thing, and it'd be like nothing left, it'll have a big bow in it or something. So I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna uh, wipe it down a bit and uh, oil it up. All right, over there is some Danish worktop oil, real good stuff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is oil, I've cleared it all away. I'm gonna oil all the wood, which you have to do every few months anyway to keep oak looking good. Hopefully that'll blend that in with this. Uh, Mrs. Barry's gonna hate me for doing this, but it has to be done right now. You get the idea, but it's blooming hard work. <laughs> oh, and it smells a bit. That's why Mrs. Barry's gonna be annoyed. I am much happier with that. I've lit in a candle because the smell is so strong in here. Uh, but look, it's, hard. it's pretty much gone. That's not a bad effort. Hello. I'm gonna get the camera out more often. Mrs. Barry's actually been okay. If I wasn't recording this, she'd be tearing my head off. It's freezing, it's melt. No, we wouldn't. But tell your head off about what? You would be, yeah, because the back door was open. Okay. And I've stained the worktop, but I've disguised the smell with candles. Um, oh, by the way, if people are wondering what happened to the giant Tafifi, my stepdad didn't have it. When I was walking the dog the other night, uh, last night, uh, my sister came around and took loads of it. What? Well, if you, you've got rid of the stain on the worktop. I thought so. Uh, no. Yeah, but it's, it's better. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's better. Sorry. It looks great. It's been a crazy afternoon. Lots and lots of admin -y bits and stuff to do. These are carrot hot dogs, and tomorrow I am driving the other side of England to do a collaboration video with Dan and Dad Nerd Cubed. Uh, it's been top secret, but it looks like it's happening, so it is happening. I won't film much on here because I'm gonna save it for the video, maybe a bit of my traveling, and I have mulled over staying in the hotel tonight because it's such a lot. It's a 300 mile round trip just to make carrot hot dogs. Either way, Mrs. B's helping me uh, make sure we've got enough ingredients there. Yeah. Right? Yep. We've got most of them. Uh, and that's it. I'm pooped. Are you pooped? Mm, I am. It's been a long week. Morning, guys. It's really early. I've just walked the dogs already. And uh, let's go to Essex. I've just pulled over at the services because one, I need a wee. Two, I need a very strong coffee. We're only about half an hour into the journey, another two and a half hours to go. And also, I just had an exclamation mark come up on my dashboard. My car's quite new, so it should be fine, but uh, I just want to find out what it is. All right, I just checked, and apparently, because I did my tyre pressure, the system kind of adjusts itself, and I had to reset it, because it's like, hey, the tyres have changed. So, yeah, it's okay, apparently. Basically, in other words, I'm going to keep my eye on it like a hawk, but it should be all right. All right, we are nearly there. The car is absolutely fine, but I will put it in a garage next week just in case. Um, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Uh, but let's grab a quick sandwich down there. 
about an hour away and it's going to be a really long drive home because it's friday afternoon traffic from beyond london so we'll keep going I'm trying to do a vlog in a vlog yeah, in a vlog i've got to get the sticky i'm just walking into frame like, well you best jump for it yeah. this is a this is our pro setup right but this is what we're going to try and make carrot hot dogs are you feeling excited by this i'm so excited <laughs> Carrot instead of meat. <laughs> it looks good though, doesn't it? it uh, they look like hot dogs, yeah. What do they taste like? Carrot. <laughs> yeah. Have you made them? I've never made them. Oh, no, no, this is, the, this is the thing. We're going to try and see how we go and yeah. Right, so I'm going to vlog in This is your vlog. This is a vlog inception. Is it? Yeah, it's really your vlog here. There we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> As you can see, I've got this yellow. All right, so we're done just up at traffic light. No time for goodbyes. I need to get home and avoid the M4 slash M25 as much as possible on a Friday afternoon because it's going to take me hours to get home. I'm destined to be sat in traffic, but at least I can chip away at it now a little bit. That was such fun. Uh, Dan and Steve are amazing. Uh, Dan's dad, Steve, is, is a really nice bloke. And uh, of course, Dan, I filmed with him before, is, is just a really top bloke too. So, uh, and it tasted amazing. So I'm going to try and edit that video tomorrow. Get it up as soon as I can. It's been a really crazy week. Folks, I am in the longest traffic jam in the world. I've been sat in this for like an hour. It's slowly moving. The good news is I'm about two thirds of the way home. Uh, the bad news is I need a wee. Other than that, I'm gonna let this car in. Come on, mate, in you come. Go on. Cause I'm nice like that. I'm a nice guy. I need a wee, I need some dinner. I got out of the traffic jam. It took me about an hour, I went off tour. Little tip, if you ever are on the motorway, and even if you know your way home, use Google Maps because it tells you about accidents. So that's literally saved me a good 40 minutes sat in traffic. I went on some random road. I'm now at a services. Uh, I'm gonna go get like a sandwich and eat it as I drive home. Should be home in about an hour and a half. All right, so uh, it's the morning. I got home last night and I was like, I'm gonna say I'm home and show you stuff, but I was so tired. I just like, uh, yeah. So here I am, it's the morning, it's Saturday. I realize I haven't done any drone footage. Uh, I wanna do some drone footage in this vlog uh, and my drone has now been fixed at last. So uh, maybe on a behind the scenes video coming up, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, but this week has all been about the unicorn balloon, I feel. It's, it's following us everywhere. Uh, these behind the scenes videos, some of you guys I'm sure will hate it. Some of you guys that watch the barriers will love it. Uh, some weeks like this one, I'm finishing it today, Saturday morning. Uh, others might be seven days, others might be three days. There might be a week where there's not one at all, but I hopefully think you might have found it interesting. It's certainly been a crazy old week. You had a good week, girls? Yeah. Which one is Phoebe and Chloe? I'm Chloe. Oh, nice, nice. You can tell because I'm wearing white. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nice, nice. Uh, so, the, it doesn't stop here. I've got to edit you. I've got to edit the video we shot yesterday. And then Phoebe and I are doing a podcast uh, tonight that is exclusive to people that support My Virgin Kitchen on Patreon. Have you had a good week? Yes. Have you had a good week, Mrs B? Yes, thank you. I've had a good week. Yeah. So, uh, oh, we're going for a family meal on Sunday. So, my aim is to work so hard today get it all done so we can kind of chill tomorrow because that's important that'd be good yeah, yeah. have a day off Ooh. oh and uh we were just looking at the ingredients for the carrot hot dogs we are going to try and make some later as well because they were phenomenal please 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 try those if, if you uh a meat eater anyway just like close your eyes and do it the texture was phenomenal and most importantly the dogs goodbye guys have you had a good week yeah all right goodbye